Oh no! This isn't even it. Air. Air in a bag. Anywho. <clears throat> Camera power and care bundle. Kit includes two batteries for Canon and AC DC battery charger. Friggin' right. <clears throat> And this is a care cloth or a microfiber cloth for cleaning lenses and stuff. I really need that probably. Uh, my camera's got smudges on the screen. The camera that I'm using now, this is the one that I just recently acquired. So it was a display model, so I got it cheap, but it definitely has some smudges on the screen, that's for sure. And another one. I think I know what this one is because I got an email saying that it was delivered. Oh no. This isn't even it. This is something else. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, JVC Everio HD memory camera. Data battery. some sort of a tag ripped off here but there's also some sort of a sticker put on here which seems to be intact SDXC 1080p full HD forty times optical zoom face detection stabilizer and that's the model number there GZHM 45BU black colored yeah so this is another compact budget camera I got this camera for like for dirt cheap dirt cheap this was a uh, refurbished this one was refurbished and the Canon camera that I got it was a display model so they're both technically new but they're both technically not new oh well there you go need help on how to hook it up JVC.com Register your product Owner's copy of warranty Accessories that they want to sell you Bigger batteries Just, uh, User's guide I'm a speed reader, so I just read the whole thing. Now that I've read that, now I'm a pro. <laughs> wow. This is, I'm gonna say this is a pretty small box. Pretty small battery. 
Lithium ion battery, yes, that is quite small. I'm going to go ahead and keep this other stuff separate. From the first package, some type of a charger, 110 charger, old school audio video cables, red, white, and yellow. The USB. USB cable and this is the last item in the box it's pretty small as well cardboard little JVC tag time-lapse face detection full HD I might keep this. I might keep this little. It's not really a bag, but I think I might be able to use that for a light diffuser. Wow, this this is tiny. This is very tiny. Very very tiny. JVC. Well, the autofocus is working on my Canon. I'm using the Canon HS60 right now, or XS60, SX60. <laughs> One of those ones. This is the JVC thing. Look how small it is. It's so tiny. So tiny. So tiny. So the, the battery back slides in the back, the battery pack, sorry, slides in the back. And the mount is up here for your tripod, which is good. So you can probably change batteries while it's on the tripod, I imagine. It's supposed to have a, I think it's a three inch screen. I'm not really sure. No, can't be three inch. I think there's a three inch on the, I think there's a three inch on the, uh, on the Canon that I'm using right now. This little thing is so tiny and it was so cheap too. It was dirt cheap. Anyway, that'll be uh, something to test out later. I'm not entirely sure how to turn the thing on. Oh, it has a lens shutter to keep the dust and stuff out of your lens. So I'll probably have to charge charge this thing up. Let's just try something for fun. This is the Z-Grip stabilizer. It's like 22 bucks on Amazon. This is the tiny JVC camcorder. Uh, it was like 80 bucks refurbished and it's really really tiny as you can see so let's put this tiny camcorder on this tiny stabilizer rig here There's so many different positions that you can put put your camera ahead, back, side, side, on angles and stuff. So just make sure your lens uh, is not not recording any plastic. And tighten it up the way you want it. 
And you don't have to go too tight because it's really good grip and rubber. So it's not going to come loose or turn or anything. And it's only plastic so you don't want to break it. So there's a tiny there's a tiny tiny film rig there. And when you're getting down low and getting the shot of like cars and skateboarding and stuff down low, you turn the screen up a bit and get the camera down low. And uh yeah. And this also turns around to the front as well for when you're recording in selfie mode or whatever. So there's a tiny little film rig, high def with 40 time optical zoom. I think it's 40 time optical zoom. Uh, yep, 40 time optical zoom. I know it won't focus right now because it's focused on the background, but it says 40 time optical zoom right there. There we go. So, 40 time optical zoom and high def. That's pretty good. It doesn't have any microphone input. And then, this LED light that I was telling you about for the camera, I could fit it onto the camera that I'm using right now. Uh, but the battery's on charge, so I can't really show you that. But this shoe mount here, it just slides onto the shoe mount on the Z grip, and then you tighten down this locking ring. And then you got a filming rig with the LED light. That's a pretty big LED light, actually. It's not too heavy, but it's got a little bit of weight to it. Look at the light is bigger than the camera, for frig's sakes. <laughs> the camera is so small, the light is huge. So yeah, you can see like right now for example, and when I was showing you the battery, the battery compartment in here, it's dark, I'm getting, sometimes I'm getting shadows and stuff. So this light, when I need it, or let's say, yeah, dark spots or outdoors at night or anything like that. You can put a microphone up here and plug it into the cannon down below. This one here doesn't have a microphone input, this JVC. But uh, it has its purpose. I think it'll be good for doing cars, recording car shows and stuff, getting down low. I mean, to get a good shot on a car, a lot of time you get down low. So I won't have to bend over and look in the screen. I'll just get this down low and turn the screen up so I can see. When you turn it on, there's a slider here. Oh my goodness, everything is so bright now. That's the lowest intent, that's as low as it goes. Wow. So now the test button shows that, showing a full battery, all four bars. I don't think it's fully charged, but anyway. So that's the lowest is setting let's turn it up higher wow wow so I had it on here previously just to show you the camera rig slide it on the shoe mount here if I can figure my figure myself out so yeah So there's the little film rig there with the light. You turn the screen if you need to. And I'll turn the light on. And everything is very different. <laughs> this is adjustable too. I've got it tight right now, but you can turn this down and up, etc. I'm gonna leave it like down just a hair, just a little bit down, like that. and turn this off so this light was like 25 bucks 
on Amazon with the rechargeable battery and everything. And I think the the stabilizer, the Z grip, I think it was like 22 bucks on Amazon. And this this little JVC camcorder was uh, refurbished, so it was cheap as well. It was like it was like 80 bucks plus tax. So everything, this whole this whole film rig here with the light and the camera and the stabilizer, everything there is only like 120 bucks. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna unscrew, loosen off this shoe mount, slide that off. And I'm going to put this on the camera that that I'm using right now, the Canon SX60. I'm going to go ahead and mount this light on here so you might get shaken up for a minute. So let's turn it on and we'll see the huge, huge difference. And that's on low. It just gets brighter and brighter. <laughs> that's that's on high. What a difference. Even on low makes a pretty big difference. And yeah. So this is all new to me. This is the first time I've ever had a light, a, like a filming light or a camera light, aside from a factory flash. And uh, accessory mounts, stabilizer. So I'm gonna have to, uh, just gonna have to figure out how to use it all and figure out how to make, make films. 